so I give thanks to the Lord because this uh, he gives this wonderful time to preach his word and also our sir that he gives uh, this wonderful person to preach. Uh, today I want to share some point about the will of God. So before preach I want to pray. Please close your eyes. Let's pray. Father, Thank you, Lord, to give this wonderful time, Lord, to give us in our life, Lord, to be our caring, to be our caring, to be our caring, to be our And Lord, we worship you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, Lord. And now, Lord, I am going to pray, so Lord, please do help me, and Lord, protect me. And Lord, give you wisdom, knowledge, so Lord, I can finish nicely. And Lord, those who are listening to your word, Lord, Lord, change their mind and change their life, Lord. And they will serve you. Lord, and I pray. Lord, uh, this prayer I submit to you and I ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Um, today I want to share something about the will of God. Uh, let's see, first point the will of God. The will of God that all be, all be saved. Uh, how we will save? Let's see, uh, John chapter 6, verse 14. And this is the will of God in that sent me that everyone which seeth the Son and believe on him may have everlasting life and I will rise him up at the last day. Amen. This is Amen. The will of God. How how we can we will say? If we believe to Jesus Christ, to the, He is our God and He is our Savior, and He died for our sin, right? Then we will save, and and He give His eternal life, and this is the will of God. So we should be believe on Him. He is, he is our Savior. He is, he is our God. Everything we believe in Him. This is the will of God. And second point is. The will of God that every Christian should be sanctified. Why we should be sanctified? Let's see. The first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 7. Because it is the will of God is God's 
commands to obey your uh, government. Let's see First Peter chapter 2 verse 13 to 15. Submit yourself to every ordinance for man, for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as uh, supreme, for unto governor, governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers evil evil and for the praise for them that do well. This is the will of God to to obey. You know, you know every, uh, everything. To obey the government, you should not uh, break the traffic rules. You should not uh, uh, break any rules of governments, and we should be pay the taxes because it is the uh, God will, and we should because uh, as you know. And Lord Jesus Christ also pay the taxes in Matthew chapter 17 verse 24 to 17. You can read after in Jesus as Jesus also pay the uh, taxes. So we should be uh, pay the taxes. It is the will of God and obey every rules and every uh, governments. Those are uh, rulers this world. We should be obey. This is the will of God. And fifth point, the will of God. For, for us to know the will of God. How can we know the will of God? First, we pray. If we pray and spend in time to pray, so we can know the will of God. That, uh, and by reading the Bible, if we read day and night Bible, then we will, we will get to know that it is the will of God and God wants to tell us this is the will of God and we can understand the will of God. So, if we do like this, if we read and pray, so we can understand the will of God and if we continuously day and night doing this thing, so God will bless us and bless in our, in our family members also. So, this is the will of God. And this through, uh, this through five um, points, God bless you and God bless you all. Thank you. Amen.